Well, one last night of widespread freezing conditions from the Great Lakes all the way into the south and boy freeze warnings to Huntsville, Alabama, frost advisories to Macon, Georgia and even Myrtle Beach tonight and the entire state of Indiana once again under the freeze warning. Showers and thunderstorms are off to the west. This system will start to head our way, bring a couple showers Friday and some showers and thunderstorms in two waves. It looks like on Saturday this system will bring Perhaps a good soaking rain as we head into next week. In fact, Sunday through about Tuesday, we could get an inch to an inch and a half of rain around here, and it will start to warm up before it cools down a little bit once we get into the latter parts of next week. But a cold night tonight. Uh, you know, even though the current temperatures are, are not quite as cold as it was at this time last night, with it being totally calm tonight, no wind at all, a little inversion and clear skies and dry air. It's still going to be in the middle to upper 20s. So frost and freezing for the morning, but 54 noon, 61 at 5. Sunny skies, a southwest breeze, and you know the fire danger will be elevated due to the very, very dry air in place tomorrow. So keep that in mind. Damaging frost and freeze tonight. A few showers Friday, not a big deal. 30% coverage with increasing clouds and then two waves of scattered showers and storms a much warmer Saturday. The bigger rains will probably uh, occur in three waves. I think Sunday through Tuesday some storms mixed in, but they're going to add up an inch to an inch and a half. Uh, but unfortunately there is there are signs of another frost and freeze on the horizon before the 80s return in a big way around the 28th. But tonight mid to upper 20s. Uh, another damaging freeze for the area, 28 Cantlin, 27 Pine Village, and 26 at Madaryville. And tomorrow, upper 50s in the far east to low 60s in the southwest, 62 Attica, 61 Monticello, and 60 at Burlington, 62 at Crawfordsville. Not as cold tomorrow night by any means. In fact, 37 Rochester, 41 at Monticello, 42 Lafayette, and a mild, relatively mild, 44 at Pent. So there's your 61 tomorrow, a nice sunny sky, kind of breezy on Friday, increasing clouds, couple showers, mainly in the PM, a wave of showers and storms. You know, it looks like Saturday morning generally, and then we may get a break around midday and early afternoon. We may have another wave late in the day of some scattered showers and storms, but 74 and windy, and those two waves will add up anywhere between a quarter probably a half an inch of rain. Then another wave of showers and storms Sunday, yet another Monday, 76 though, and all that's going to start to add up a little bit. At least all that rain will not come at once, but several days of rain will soak in nicely. we got three days of 70s, 64 Tuesday, and then a little cooler, 61 on Wednesday damage. You see no freezes after that 26 degree low tomorrow morning. And tomorrow will not be a bad day, but watch the burning. It's dry out there. Absolutely. Thanks, mm -hmm. Chad. Well, and the uh, sports department, Purdue Boilermakers looking to continue their winning ways on the base.